you know, I am glad I made it to this meet. I'm glad I stepped on the starting line. I the running is just getting harder for me. There's like no way around it. If it would have been a little bit like slower race, I think I could have stuck in there longer. But just going out under 70 and under 220, I knew it was gonna be hard for me. So I was like, I was hoping for a slower race <laughs> because I could have like hung. But um, I'm happy to be here. I'm like kind of relieved it's over. It's been a super. Um, it's been a whirlwind the last six, seven weeks of racing and trying to, you know, get all of my life obligations in order and keep running. So I have had this on my schedule and uh, as I've gotten closer to it, I've been more like, okay, I'm ready to be done running. Like I'm ready to be done racing for this season. I know that it's, it's super bittersweet because I mean, I would love to be here in like, at 100% and like be competing for, for a spot because I know that's that's still in me somewhere but it's just like not this year. So I'm super happy to be here but uh, I really am just gonna be excited to float on a lake this summer in between my chemo infusions and hopefully like just get healthy so I can be back at full strength again next year. That's like, that's my hope. <laughs> Huddled up after the race. What did you guys say to each other? Yeah, uh, Stephanie Brown and Angel, I think. They they wanted to say like a prayer for me and just like give me their well wishes and be uh, supportive of, of Team Gabe. So that was really sweet just to like have a little moment of solidarity among my competitors. It's uh, obviously I've had a lot of that support, but it's really, it means a lot for them to, to know, to like acknowledge my struggle and just like be there for me even though we're competitors we all are still like there's truly a there's a sisterhood among all of us we all know each other so it means a lot for them to to care honestly what did they say to you? we just did like i think it was angel who she said like a prayer and we all they all just kind of like told me they'll be thinking about me this summer and like stay strong and we just kind of had a moment yeah. how does your body feel after the first round? Um, it's getting, <clears throat> you know, I haven't had too many, like, serious side effects. Like, I don't have nausea. I'm doing, like, pretty well. I just feel, like, fatigue. Running has gotten harder for me. Um, and I can, I can run, like, short intervals, like, 200. <laughs> and I can do that at a decent pace and then rest and, like, do a little bit. But the stuff that's, like, longer than 30 or 45 seconds of running hard is, like, I just, like, get to a point where I'm building up lactic acid, I feel like I can't like flush it, I just like get heavier and heavier. So it's like, I can run like longer at a slower pace and I can run short at a fast pace, but anything in between is a struggle for sure. Have you been able to keep running every day or were there days where you weren't able to run at all? I've run, some days I ran only like 15 or 20 minutes, but uh, the only day I didn't run was this past Sunday because I had like, and slight issue come up. I had a low grade fever, so I had to go to the ER, and uh, they had to do like a full workup because even if you have a low grade fever, it can be a really serious sign of infection, and it sometimes can require like several days worth of powerful antibiotics because you're immunosuppressed. So they ran all the tests on me, and uh, my cell counts were low, but they weren't like dangerously low, and I seemed to my fever broke. Uh, Later that night, and I felt better. I've been on some oral antibiotics this week, but I mean, on that night, I seriously didn't know if I'd be making the trip out to Sacramento, much less racing. Uh, but the next day, I felt decent. I ran like 20 minutes. So I mean, that didn't help me. Like, it hasn't been like a smooth buildup, even like with the chemo. That I think it was just a flu. I think I had like some foodborne issue. Uh, but anything can. A fever above 100.2 if you're on chemo, they make you go to the ER basically. And mine was like 101-ish. So I had to go in and it sucked, but uh, but I, I'm better, so it's all good. And your birthday, but, yeah. your birthday is Sunday? The birthday is Sunday. It's like a little nice birthday present, right? It is, yeah. I mean, I have been targeting this race uh, since March um, as like kind of the end of my season. And it's for sure the end of my season today. I, I'm just like tired on like all like different levels. Just like, and just like media requests. I've been like happy to do a lot, but it's just been like, it's been a lot. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to a break. It's been great to share and I think it's so important. That's why I try to do, just like say yes to everything. 
but I am like, I'm like getting to the point where I'm like, all right, it's like my birthday Sunday. I'm gonna like take a take a little vacation. Yeah. What's your schedule like? Yeah, I, I'm i not entirely sure how many rounds of chemo I'm going to do. I have my next infusion is on Tuesday, and then the following Tuesday, I, my chemo schedule is one infusion a week, and then another one, and then a week off. So it's like three weeks is one round. Um, so I'm going to get, I think, imaging done after the second round, and then they'll try to figure out if they, how much more they want me to do. I don't see me doing less than four rounds. Probably I won't do more than six though, but that's basically all I have on my my schedule right now. Will you try to just run just to run for fun or anything like that? Will it just be yeah, I do want to run. I don't know. I'm definitely gonna take the break from like organized training for a bit, and uh, I definitely there's some things that just like got away from me this year, like lifting and just strength work was hard with my abs healing. And so there's other things that I'm going to try to focus on that aren't all running because I don't think running is going to be something I do every single day. Um, but I do want to keep running for sure. And if I feel good, I may sign up for like a half marathon or a 5K or whatever. Probably nothing like competitive seriously, but I'd like to get out there and like stay active. And if there's a, especially like cancer related causes I can support, that's like another place that I'd like to put my efforts since I won't be racing all summer. Did you realize, I mean all these other women are talking about what an inspiration you are and the response has been amazing, but I mean, that's one way you do the media request. Have you ever taken that and realize how much you're doing for other people? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's overwhelming. I think if I like let it all sink in, it's like, I feel really emotional. Even on the starting line, I felt emotional because it's just, uh, just, I've been so, I've been so fortunate to have so much support, but it's been such a hard year. So just like, I know it doesn't look like a lot with my performance, but it's like, it just means a lot to still stay connected to the sport. Even if I can't like be fully diving in, like I'm keeping my feet wet and like hopefully that'll help me. If there's an opportunity for me to come back and be competitive, like I feel like this year, even if it was competitively disappointing, like will help me just get ready for another opportunity to actually run fast.